Hello, this is uh, Richard and Jack from Gandhi Batteries. We're on a little tour today and uh, we've come to see Chris Hudson. Hey guys. So I'm showing this, this jig that was an inspection jig. We used to do 100% inspection and it was a, there was a great article that was put forward that said 100% inspection was a complete waste of time. So what we've done is create this jig and each one where there's a grey circle is the inspection point. So we've got 1, 2, 5, 15 and then 25. 25's come off. But it just gives you an idea of which parts to inspect and then if you find that you've got a faulty part at the inspection point, you work backwards to the last inspection point. Fantastic. Have we go. Yeah, so this is one for our rods. So we again, exactly the same concept, 1 to 25, inspection points 1, 2, 5, 15 and 25. Just mix them like that. Unfortunately, we couldn't get to Chris's morning meeting. He uses a screen to run his meeting and hopefully next time we'll get to join it. You ready? Right, so this is our pick and place machine that we've got here. Essentially what we have is you have your reels of components on this section here. This will come in, basically come down, grab the component and then place it onto the circuit board. But it also all comes in and checks it against the camera here and confirms that the component's placed around the right way as well. Yeah. Are you doing what this does? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing this, just I'm basing with it. It takes quite a while, these. Do that, and that's what I expect to become that eventually. Then you meant to inject mold it using that thing. So, so this, this machine will save time, it'll save so much time. What do you think of lead? Lean? Um, it's good. Oh, it's really helpful. It definitely maximises. Processes quite a lot, makes them quicker. Like that. So there's only a few, we don't have many components on the balls. Um, obviously, that, that one's a through hole, so that wouldn't be placed by this machine, but um, you'd have at least, least those three components placed by the machine. And if you're doing a ball of 25, that can do it in like a couple of minutes, whereas someone placing it by hand takes like half an hour. 